So here is a quick video on coronavirus genomic data that is published by this nonprofit organization headquartered in Munich, Germany called GISAID. It is a public-private partnership between the German government and the nonprofit organization that provides public access to the most complete collection of genetic sequence data. This is a pretty fascinating site, and I thought I would take this opportunity to go through some of this information that is posted. The neat thing about this chart, it's interactive, so if you kind of hover over one of these countries, you can see the dots are getting larger. Finland, Ireland, Italy. So starting with China, of course, China has the early days, and there's a date axis down here. I um, guess we can shrink those countries and starting from the beginning of December of last year we have 100% confidence that it is Chinese at this stage. The purples are essentially 100% confidence they're coming from China. So the red is starting to get into the USA and then the green is Europe and if we look at megatrends. We have China in the purple, Europe in the green shades, North America in the red, Australia and some of these countries around this line in the blue, so India as well. So if we go back to this chart and we open our countries and we see China. The peak of the out outbreak was February 19th or so, so it was right in this range. So there's not a lot of points after that for China. You can also see if you click on the Hong Kong line, it's sort of concentrated in this zone here, this particular branch. So there's Hong Kong. What countries are remaining in that branch, they're mostly these blue countries. Australia, New Zealand. If we go to Australia, you'll see that the early part of the infection for Australia, or at least uh, some of it, came from that Hong Kong branch, if you will. In Hong Kong is mostly in that branch, and if you look at Australia, although it's spread all over from everywhere, the early portions of Australia back in February were from Hong Kong, apparently. If we look at the USA, which is at the bottom here, you can see that early on there's a big cluster here and then the next big cluster is up here. So if we look at the first big cluster for the USA, it's mostly Western USA, Washington State, that is involved here coming directly from China. So this branch coming directly from China. So there's sort of a direct link for the west coast of the U.S. And if we look at this cluster, which is more the east coast of the U.S., or maybe central, it comes off of this branch, which apparently is a French branch, if you will, with 100% confidence. And if we look at France, we can see they're fairly ahead of the U.S. data points on that particular branch. There's a lot of rumor that Italy had passed it on to many other countries. Italy doesn't show very prominently in this graphic. Maybe there's some data missing. It would appear that France would have probably more impact on what happened on the east coast of the United States. So if flights were going to be canceled we would have to stop flights from France, Europe, basically, because Charles de Gaulle Airport is not just being used by the French people. Paris, New York, that should have been shut down between February 12th and February 26th, and that could have perhaps stopped this branch from occurring. If we look at the UK, You see the UK, there's a fairly good strong tail on this branch here, which would mean that the UK here comes after, if we look at these green ones here, we have Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. 
Belgium, Scotland, Netherlands. So from this branch, it's 50% UK at this point. And then if we hover over this point, we see it's 54%. Belgium would be, other than China, of course, Belgium would be the intermediate country to the UK. If we look at the UK, we also see a nice heavy tail here. So from the French branch, and um, let's see what else on the UK. And some heavy tails on these two branches, which if we hover over these branches, Belgium and Belgium. So the UK would have been affected by Belgium quite a bit, some China. Australia, for example, we can see that it is fairly spread again. New Zealand. You can see New Zealand is very limited. There's maybe one branch up here which is uh, associated with the UK. And then we have some data points here that are coming directly from China or Hong Kong. I guess the Hong Kong branch is more likely. And then for New Zealand, we have a few data points down here, which are coming from Australia. For New Zealand, it was essentially three countries between Hong Kong, the UK, and Australia, which would make sense. Brazil, which is currently in the outbreak, we see the Brazilian points pop up here. And although we see that there's a late tail coming here for Brazil, the early Brazilian data points are related to European countries. If we look at Ecuador, so Ecuador, I only see one point here for Ecuador. And it would seem that it's one of the branches that came from China. So maybe the Netherlands branch, one of the Netherlands branches to Ecuador. So if we look at South Korea, so South Korea was fairly early on and uh, mostly directly from China. If we look at Japan, you can see Japan has the more recent outbreak down here is more related to the French branch or the European travel. Let's see, Vietnam, we have again some European, we have two, one direct from China, one some European travel. Thailand or Malaysia. There's not a lot of data points, it seems, for Mexico, but Mexico seems to be tagged around this branch, which is uh, another European branch. We don't see much South Africa. So the Congo, we see quite a bit of tail with the European travel on in the Congo. Portugal. I mean, there is some direct connection to China, but mostly uh, through European travel. Sweden, so Sweden doesn't show up very much here, but interestingly, Sweden, there's one point here on the um, Hong Kong line. And then Finland has quite a few points on the top branch which is um, the French branch, Switzerland. So Switzerland has quite a big cluster there. Switzerland here has a fairly big cluster on this uh, Belgium branch. So Switzerland and Germany. Looks like two sources mostly for Germany, although there's a very early source here on this branch from China. 
but if we look at the majority of the points there's a cluster here and a cluster here so if we look at this cluster this branch here is coming from Belgium so Germany has a Belgium cluster if you will and if we look at this cluster up here um, from the red it looks like the USA so Germany has another cluster from the USA East Coast USA which came through France so went to France went to the US then went back to Germany so I thought that was pretty interesting information thanks for watching and see you next time